Time to talk about my Frankenstein cook kit. <laughs> I have been on a mission to find the perfect cook kit. And when I say cook kit, I mean my pot, my stove, and my spoon. And also a lid, which we're gonna get into in a little bit. A ton of things matter to me. The size matters, the weight matters, the features matter. Um, you know, it's just, everybody gets really sort of picky and really just sort of like, you've got your, your thing when it comes to your cook kit. People love certain cook kits, people don't love certain cook kits. I like to just basically boil water while I'm out there, so. My cook kit is mainly for boiling water. This is not a cook kit, by the way. This is my coffee mug. I originally started out looking for a really lightweight pot, something small, ultra light, like the lightest weight I could possibly find because I'm a boil the water in a pot kind of guy. I love the canister stove. I'm not an alcohol stove guy at all. That's just who I am. I, I'm gonna always be a canister stove kind of guy. I just think they're very easy to use, no fuss. I don't have to think about it, just, you know, it boils water quickly, done. So I started out with that Tokes 550 milliliter pot, which is like the ultra lighter's dream, right? But I wanted to be able to fit everything inside of the pot. So I ended up picking up this right here. This is the Tokes 750 milliliter pot. This to me is the perfect size pot. It's a very inexpensive pot. It's titanium, so it's really lightweight. It comes with a, you know, decent lid. But the problem with this pot is that the lid, you know, falls right off. It doesn't snap in place. It doesn't hold in place. Um, it, you have to hold it together either with the orange, you know, little stuff sack that Tokes gives out with all their pots, or you got a, you know, rubber band in the top or something like that. And, <laughs> this is so nitpicky, right? But it is nice to not have to worry about that, right? Just to have the lid stay on there. So I was testing out other gear. I was looking for other gear to test out one day. And I thought, well, let me just see what other kind of pots are out there and that kind of thing. And I went to Soto's website and not Tokes, Soto. Uh, Soto is a Japanese company, by the way, and they've got an office in Oregon. Uh, I'm sorry, Oregon for all you Oregonians, but they're mainly out of Japan. They're a very large company in Japan. And I found uh, online their Thermolite pot set. It's 38 bucks and you get this pot you get um, this lid, you get a, a little you know, pot grabber, um, and then you get this little koozie that comes with it as well, which is really nice. I, I, I can't find the pot grabber and the koozie's sort of buried right now, but you know, you'll see a picture of it on the screen, I'm sure Emmett's gonna put it up there. And I'm messing with this thing, I think it's pretty cool, but it's an aluminum pot, so it's a little bit heavier, not a big deal. You know, I only backpack for the weekend or a few days at a time, and I don't go in very far a lot of times, or I'm not taking a, hiking a ton of miles, so it's not that big of a deal to carry a little bit heavier of a pot. But I'm like, man, this lid is really nice, and it's just, uh, it's super nice, and man, I really like this lid, wait a minute. It. Wait a minute! These pots have almost the exact same diameter. So I took this lid off and I thought, will this pot lid fit on my Tox pot? And sure enough, it fits perfectly. Now, these two pots are just barely different in size. I mean, just barely different. Like the rim on the Soto is like a millimeter or two larger. But nonetheless, this lid fits in both of them perfectly. Now, why am I so obsessed with this lid? Well, first of all, it's a plastic lid, so it's not gonna get super hot right away. And I also love it because it slides in there and it doesn't fall off. So I don't need a rubber band, I don't need a case. It's also got a little spot here to sip coffee out of or whatever, and you can see that right there. And you can also strain, not super easily, but easy enough out of these little holes right here. And I absolutely love this lid. Now, what else is cool about this whole cook set is that your canister uh, stove and can, gas canister, <laughs> will fit easily inside the pot, right? And a little tip for you guys is if you want to be able to fit more stuff inside of your pot, put your canister, uh, your gas canister in upside down because that little curve there gives you a little bit more room inside of your pot so you can put a little, uh, little bit larger stoves on there. I was also interested in the Soto Amicus stove at the time. And so I thought, oh, let me just try the Soto Amicus stove and here it is right here. And this is a great stove, except for it has one uh, flaw in my opinion. 
it's that the igniter fell apart the last time I was using it. Like the little screw fell out. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's just sort of just dangling there now. And it's just being held by the little wire. And it still works. I mean, I can feel the, a little shock as I push the button. So it still works, but that was really frustrating to me. And so I went online and I found out that they sell a repair kit for this. And anytime a company sells a repair kit for something that probably should tell you that that is going to eventually fall apart. And in my case, it totally did. So it kind of jaded me a little bit about this stove, but it's still a great stove. It's a small stove, lightweight, uh, and it fits perfectly along with the lid. And it doesn't fall out. Like this lid is on there tight enough that you don't have to worry about it. You know, everything dumping out inside of your backpack. Okay, kind of a problem. Now, my favorite stove of all time, and I keep going back to this thing, and I've talked about it in multiple videos. It's this one right here. This is the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. Super expensive stove. This is like a $75, $80 stove. I'm not exactly sure. Price always changes, uh, but you know, Emma will throw it up on screen. And it's essentially the same thing. It's got its own igniter, and this thing just lasts and lasts and lasts. It's bomb proof. That igniter is on there. It's a little bit heavier, obviously a little bit larger, but man, I, it's so reliable. I love this stove. Folds up, just throw that in there just like that. And, and this one as well, that lid will pop right on there and the stove and everything stays inside. So I love that this is like this. Now, if you were to like go out and buy everything individually, you've got like a, I don't know, let's say like a $30 pot, you've got a 75 or $80 stove or whatever it is. And then you've got this lid that you'd have to buy a set for for $40 just to get this lid. So this Frankenstein kit is really expensive. Oh, one more thing. I wanna mention my spoon. This is my absolute favorite spoon of all time. This thing weighs 11 grams, super bomb proof. Like if I lose it, it's not that big of a deal. It was a buck at the time, but actually it is a big deal because I don't even know if they, they sell this anymore. I've seen these for sale on eBay and people are like selling for extreme prices. So I don't know if it's just cause I was talking about it that these became really popular, but best spoon ever. This beats any other spoon I've ever used. Even titanium ones, bamboo ones, all that stuff. Okay. Anyway, so this all works together great, but I was really frustrated that Soto just didn't sell a titanium pot. So I called Soto this week. And if you ever call Soto, they're like this super nice, great customer service company. But they informed me that this pot is now gonna come in a titanium version and it should already be available. But I checked the website as of today, which is Thursday, January 4th, and it is not for sale on their website. Now, by the time you see this video, maybe it will be. So somebody please go check and let me know in the comments below, but there is gonna be a 700 or a 750 milliliter pot that is gonna be titanium available. And if that's true, they may just have like the perfect, most amazing cook system that I've seen yet. And which comes with this epic lid, my favorite stove, <laughs> but theirs will probably come with actually uh, the Soto Amicus stove, which is still a great stove, and then a titanium pot. The only thing about this pot that I really don't like is it doesn't have handles. It's just got that weird pot grabber thing that some people just really love, but I'm not a big fan of the pot grabber thing. I'd rather have uh, handles on a pot that I can, you know, sort of pick up and use and drink it like a coffee pot and then have to worry about it burning my hands and all that stuff. So anyway, but for you uh, ultralighters out there or people who are super weight conscious, you're probably wondering what do these uh, pots weigh? Let's weigh it in grams. My scale does not give me ounces in very specific increments. So it just tells me grams for some weird reason. Even if I push the unit button, people always tell me, Dan, just push the unit button. It gives me half ounce in increments. So. This one weighs 17 grams. So let's find out exactly, I'll prove it to you, watch this. So, oh, 18 grams, okay, so there, it's a five eighths of an ounce. <laughs> so what is that? Alexa, how many ounces is 18 grams? 18 grams is about 0.635 ounces. Okay, so 0 0.6 ounces. So just over a half an ounce for this lid. How much does that differ from the Coke's lid? Oh, looks like it's about the same. Yeah, it's it's the same weight. So these two weigh exactly the same. So I, I had no idea. I actually assumed this was gonna weigh more because it's plastic, but it does not. So interesting. 82 grams for the uh, Pocket Rocket Deluxe. 77 grams for the Soto Amica stove. And it's also missing a tiny little metal, you know, piece to, attach this igniter, so we'll just call it 80 grams. 
the Tokes 750 pot is 83 grams. And then the aluminum pot, I think this is about a 750 milliliter pot is 84 grams. Whoa, no way. 83 grams, 84 grams. Mind blown. Aluminum pot weighs as much as a titanium pot. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dan, you should probably check your weights before you start making videos. That is crazy. I guess you can't go wrong with one, this one either. Frankenstein may just include this pot, although you're gonna miss some handles. Whatever. Quick video for you guys today. I <laughs> uh, hope that helps you guys out in your cook kit buying adventures. And I'll put all the links to everything that we just talked about in the description below. And we'll see you guys in the next one.